Polisa. <gasps> Polisa! Oh my god! <laughs> 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 oh shit! <laughs> Everyone, it's Clay, director of video here at Steezy, and today we have a special guest. Evan, co-founder and CEO of Steezy. <gasps> Co-founder CEO. Everyone thinks that like I just made Steezy and it's just me. It's not. There's a huge team here and this is the guy behind it. One of them. One of them. <laughs> Today we're going to be reacting to La Lisa by Lisa from Blackpink, which we both love Lisa. I'm Thai and so Lisa was the first K-pop artist that was I would ever call my bias before I even knew what a bias was. So I'm super excited. You, you like you like Lisa, right? I mean, do I like Lisa? <laughs> <laughs> Before we get into it, make sure you like this video if you enjoy the content that you're watching. And also, keep in mind that we do have K-pop classes on Steezy, but we'll talk a little bit more about that later. Let's get into it. Oh no, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Set design, the hinting at the colors too. Black pink, baby. <laughs> Uh, the set design! And it's all black ink. Can we just talk about how effective that like intro is? She just like is looking, pause, and then just lets go. Right there. Like she just like lets everything go and then just like gets into it. There's something about that like powerful relaxation that really works mm. in dance. You know, I you know everyone's super into like how do I like throw? How yeah. do I how to make it the cutest? Yeah. But something as simple as a, oh, yeah, it just it screams power. And it, and that entire intro they were just like writing out the like powerful intro just like very simply as right. Uh, they just had the Yeah, LA they're hitting the LA stay. that oh yeah, what was that? Is LA. It? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just, whoa, I didn't realize the dancers were actually doing movements. So the people in the walls, ah. they're actually, they dip down with her. They're just not like posing. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that texture. It's like a subtle. Woo! Man, we're gonna pause a lot. I'm sorry, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna pause a lot. Something simple like the, the champagne move that she does. Champagne. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bro. They should have added a pop sound in the music. No, they shouldn't. <laughs> I really enjoy when people dance the lyric mm. to the beat. Because a lot of times people will throw in moves because they look cool, which yeah. is not a bad thing, yeah. but there's something about when you're just actually representing the lyrics yeah. well. Not just that, it's so easy to make something like that look cheesy, but mm. if you just like fully commit and know internally like you are a badass, like that move just looks so good. How does she fully commit to that? Ooh. Unbroken eye contact. Mm -hmm. She's not even like looking at, she's, she's not like, mm -hmm. right? She's mm -hmm. just like, doom. I actually mentioned something like this in a previous video. I was talking about different ways to project yeah. and how they mean different things. So yeah. You can do the same move in like at least three different ways. You can yeah. like look at the movement and that mm -hmm. shows that you're guiding the audience's eyes, mm -hmm. right? It's still confident, but it's uh, it's more direct. Mm -hmm. And then we have direct eye contact with the camera. You don't, you kind of ignore the move right. or with the camera, the audience. Mm -hmm. That like screams more nonchalant. Like, yeah, it's like I don't have to I don't have to think too hard. Yeah. Something about like maintaining eye contact with mm -hmm. the audience is is telling people that like I know what I'm doing. Right but I'm trying to connect with you. And then there's the other one, which is just simply not even looking at any of the stuff. Like, mm. that just, that's subtle, mm. that's cool, that's confident. So yeah. Lisa's going for obviously that like, she, I'm connected. She does that a lot, where mm. she just like looks away nonchalantly and it adds like a lot of like powerful aura. Mm. If you want to dance like Lisa, keep that in mind yeah. then, right? Powerful aura, connect with the audience or only give them what they, just a little bit, look away. Ooh, ooh, the hand textures. Something that's like, it's not even dance related. I really enjoy 
how she puts the um, the helmet on before she in a different scene. So she's here in the alleyway. She puts on the helmet, and that leads to this oh. scene. So that gives you a match. Very like, cool. Yeah, yeah they're really good at like transitioning from one scene to the next, and like taking one element from one, and then like adding it and starting the next one. Like it's really cool. Love the. Again, again, the call out, the call out of like like matching lyrics. Uh huh. There's the lyric matching with the choreography. Mm -hmm. La, mm -hmm. right? La, Lisa, la me, and she does the L's the whole time. It's just like you're keeping like a consistent motif, yeah. and that's really important when you're making a catchy dance. Which you know, mm -hmm. everyone is so good at creating catchy movements, catchy lyrics. They're moments. They're, they're moments. We mm -hmm. we keep talking about moments in all the other videos too. It's moments. Mm -hmm. I love the L's. I love the L's. Mm -hmm. yeah. Catchiest move I've ever seen. Catchiest move ever. And I like, I like their um. <laughs> Sorry, I, no, I, 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 I love resist. how they hit this on the uh, the cap. They hit it on the and count. Yeah. There he goes. Uh, Lisa Cat Love. Because they could have done da 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 da, but they didn't. Uh, they give you a little bit of and count in between. Da 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 ka, da 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 da. Mm. Again, keeps it moving. It's almost like the transitions in the video, but no. in the dance, in my opinion. <laughs> Loudest. Oh, the police. <laughs> I love I love flashlights <laughs> as a uh, with all the speakers. <laughs> See, but she just she's just so good at like selling those in betweens. Like you don't know if she's dancing. Yeah. Is she dancing or is she just like just serving? Just yeah. Speaker. Something low. Just yeah. like very subtle. Just like talking with her hands. Polisa. <gasps> Polisa! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh my god! I was like, what language is that? No, I think it is! No! Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, whoever designed this 2 OP. I have so much appreciation for not just set designers, yeah. but the costume designers. Yeah. The mini details are the things that get left out. It's even like the way her, her eyes, you mm. know, her eyelashes and the makeup mm. are done. Just like wardrobe and makeup, super underappreciated yeah. in my opinion, because you get to see all these other flashy things, but those nails, Polisa. Polisa. <laughs> Honestly, half the reason why I'm a Blackpink fan is like because they're set designers uh -huh. and like whoever does their videos. Like, if it weren't for that, I don't think I'd be as big of a fan. I said I can hear you, so you need to speak up. Speak up. Uh, the colors in this did, too. She, um, did she bounce on the speak up? Ooh. Ooh, this is a detail. Speak up. That is, Ooh. yo. She did it so well that it made me think like, did they just like yeah. reverse it or something? Put this shit on stereo, everyone else on very low, protecting very. like a barrier. Promise that's not this scarier than me. If anybody Great transition. Man, gotta catch a case, gonna be my hand. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. really popular. Pole dancing is really popular and it's really hard. <laughs> I wonder if she had pole experience before this video. Because oh. even just doing some it basic spins, she looked comfortable yeah. enough on there, right? Yeah. Right? Even just to do that. She looked good. Mm. Ooh, the, the glitter sand. Yeah, matching the sand. Still the best. Oh. Knees, knees. Ah, oh, Lisa is so good at using her like leg bends. Like this, mm -hmm. I, I'm I'm so obsessed with the way that she does this move right here. It's just like do do this one. Ka, ka, ka. Mm. It's not just knee, right? It's like it's a hip turn. It's yeah. like it's a lot more. The entire body placement. It's a lot more than it like yeah. than just the leg itself. So right. I don't know. She's she's great at making that look effective. It's a really interesting like silhouette. Yeah, she's got the S curve of mm -hmm. the body while maintaining the actual leg stamp. It's powerful. Powerful, but it's sexy. It's those catchy moves. <sighs> They're repeatable. Like, you can't help but do them.
Ooh. Ooh. Change up. I don't know like the exact name of like this traditional dance, but I enjoy like the 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 ode to that. Yeah. You know? And she's like, even the choreo that's a little bit more like like hip hop based, there's actually bounce in yeah. there. Like she's still adding like fingers for these things. Mm. So it's a it's a cool mashup. I wonder if they like think of the vibes like how they think about matching the vibes with like these different change-ups and tones because you're doing an amazing job of it like this this entire scene with yeah. like the brighter colors mm -hmm. and the house and like the sand it like fits really well with this transition yeah. oh she tossed glitter yeah mm -hmm. nice yeah how? She's got like three, four outfits in this. Yeah, the the backup dancers in this part like really like fit the vibe really well. In too. the the yeah, tie the tie like section. It it really well. I agree. Yeah. I think a portion of that, aside from just being skilled dancers, honestly, their outfits. They, their outfits really do match the dancing well. Their movement yeah. gives glimmer, so it's almost like the uh, the polisa, right? <laughs> the polisa have the flashlights, right? Yeah. And so when they're dancing, the flashlights are are adding these um, peripheral effects to uh, yep. Lisa's dancing. So yep. I think that they're the little they're... like flowy, glittery. Yeah, look at all that. Yeah. It, it's a lot going on. Yeah. The headdresses too. Love everyone else. Great transition. I want I want this La Lisa set. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. Great switch up. Yeah. Oh. Like they make you like it's the same rhythm. It's the same. It's mm -hmm. basically like the same thing, but they make you hear it differently with their movements. I think in in K-pop, there are a lot of switch ups that I don't think are as effective in terms of choreography. Yeah. But then, like, it's exactly what you said. It's that it's that switch up that makes you hear the music differently. Which is, I think, that's the thing that a lot of people might ignore mm -hmm. about why choreography is important. Mm. The whole idea of the music video is you are to listen to the song mm -hmm. and they want you to hear the song in different lights. I mean, I'm sure everyone here feels the same way. You might hear a song and you're like, eh, it's kind of fine. And then you watch a choreography to it and then you're like, it's changed. Yeah. It's so good. Cause you're seeing and hearing and experiencing it in a different way. And, and this is a perfect example of like, here, let's close it. But everyone's seen this probably around two, three times already. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's served its purpose. It doesn't mean it's any worse. It just means that we need to carry them on this journey. Now, mm -hmm. we gotta boom, finish it. Boom. Dun, 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 dun. I, need, I need to watch that. Yeah. Ooh, the sway. So tight. It makes you feel like the production from beginning to end, involving set design, costume, choreography, and music. It almost seems like they were all working together. Mm -hmm. And that's what, how you create a really effective video. Sometimes yeah. you're just like, oh, they've definitely thought of that after yeah. and like played off it. But something mm -hmm. about this felt collaborative. Yeah. It was fire. Freaking fire. <laughs> oh my God. Lisa's, what well, she's known for not just being a bad B, but also just being a really great dancer. What was really pointed out is what you're saying. It's those, it's those simple moments. It's not even when they're doing the choreography be all together mm -hmm. it's when she does the head nod it's when mm -hmm. she's just you know grabbing with her hand there's something that feels so intentional mm -hmm. something that feels so powerful um, in the in-betweens yeah. so if you want to dance powerfully and you want to feel like you know a bad B then definitely mm -hmm. think about your in-betweens dance not the same as Lisa but with the confidence that Lisa sells with her transitions mm. we want to see more of these videos and you know y'all are better keeping track of these so make sure that you comment down below with any other k-pop videos or just dance videos that you want us to react to and give a dancer insight. And also don't forget, we do have K-pop classes on CZ Studio that you can learn right now by clicking the link in the description. You can learn from people like Ellen and Brian. Like Ellen and Brian, y'all know who they are? We also have a ton of free classes, like what, over, over 100? Yes. Crazy. Over 100 dance classes that are completely free right now, no credit card required. So make sure that you click the link in the description or just go download our app on the App Store, Google Play Store, any store. And uh, we'll see y'all in the next one. Pieces. Bye.
Sing it. Just like can't help but do that. 